welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel my name is Tam and welcome to the city living week I am so 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 excited about this my camera is currently on a different in a different spot because I need to show you something in this little area right here so I moved my camera to the right I think yeah and I don't know if this works for you but for now it's, it's going to work you guys so this video is my third video in the City Living series that is going to uh, last this entire week. When I say City Living series, that means that I'm really, really hyped about this expansion and that I want to showcase as much as possible. So, as a disclaimer at the beginning of the video, I need to say that I received uh, the copy of City Living from EA and uh, I got the early access to the game. That is why you're watching this video today, one day before the release for America and three days before the release for Europe. I am extremely excited about this and I want to thank EA and uh, SimGurus for giving me this opportunity, especially SimGuru Drake. So uh, the full disclaimer is going to be in, in the description down below so you can read it if you want. All of the opinions about the game are on are my own and nobody w is paying me to say this and basically I am saying everything from my heart because I really love this expansion. Uh, if you don't know, I uh, I am doing a series on my channel as well called the Plum Bob Talk. Which with them and I've been doing it for six weeks now so you can watch those videos and see what am I talking about and you can see that I was really really excited about this expansion even before I got the early access so in this video I'm going to showcase build and buy objects and I also want to show you guys the new traits that ca that are coming uh, that came with the city living expansion pack so the first of all I will show showcase the city living traits uh, apartment traits, I will show you the pre-made rooms that are added with the game and then we are going to showcase items. So for the traits, you uh, now can add traits to every single uh, lot that you have in the game, not just apartments, but uh, if you uh, if you do not own city living, you your traits will be limited. So there are exclusive traits for uh, apartment traits for city living. So the traits for uh, that you have in the game are Chef's Kitchen, Quake Zone, Good Schools, Mean Vibe, Home Studio, Sunny Aspect, Cursed, Grody, Gremlins, Penny Pixies, Party Place, Filthy, Haunted, Romantic Aura, Great Soil, Child's Play, Homey, Fast Internet, Great Acoustics on Leyline, uh, Science Layer, Convivial, Natural Light, Gnomes, Bracing Breeze and Private Dwelling. I'm extremely excited about all of these traits. Uh, I can't tell you which, uh, which are my favorite ones. For, for now, my favorite ones are on the ley line. Ley line. This is going to be very useful for 100 Baby Challenge. Then I like the Fast Internet one. I like the Romantic Aura one. I like the Cursed one. Sunny Aspect. I want to see the Quake Zone. Occasionally there's minor tremor here, probably nothing to worry about. I cannot wait to see that. Uh, good schools is also going to be very, very useful for 100 Baby Challenge. And yeah, basically that is uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys in the beginning of this. Now, we are going to showcase the uh, lot, uh, the pre-made rooms. So, I have the pre-made rooms right here. They are set to everything and I'm just going to uh, filter them by pack and we're going with the city living pack. So we have, oh my god, uh, can I, uh, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 18 new rooms and I need to add us a little bit more money. So let's type in mother, oopsie, mother load. And uh, let's type it, oopsie, uh, twice three times okay so I will have enough money to showcase everything so the first room that I'm going to showcase is cozy kitchenette and uh, this is a very very nice room it is the um, basic kitchen for your low grade apartments it comes in three different color schemes and I'm going to place this uh, room right here so you can see it you guys so it is a really nice room it has the brick walling uh, brick walling <laughs> brick wallpaper sorry or brick wall, whatever you want to call it. It has a little bit of uh, this uh, um, 
a little cabinet and the fridge and stuff like that so this is a really nice kitchen you can add it to your game whenever you want also one more thing that they added to the game is this little copy thing that you can copy the entire room and place it whenever wherever you want now I'm going to uh, when I showcase it I'm going to delete it and I will put in the next one so the next one is pristine lavatory this is the bathroom it comes in three different color schemes and I love the pink one you guys I need to try the pink one and uh, this one comes with the special toilet that we got with this expansion that I'm going to showcase in a few minutes. It is a really nice bathroom, uh, it's cozy, it's pink and I am not the expert in making bathrooms so that is why I love this. The third one is Perfect Dormitory. It comes in three different color schemes and I love this one, the blue one. So let's place it here. It has a little divider over here, a couple of these um, decorations, a cute picture and I love the side table in the form of book of uh, uh, travel cases and I think that this is really really interesting. I love the bed you guys, the bed is so so good and uh, yeah I love it, I love everything uh, about this room. Now to the next room, next room is Meek Commons, this is uh, the living room. Uh, three different color schemes. Oh my god, this pink one is so cute. But I think I'm going to showcase the orange one for you guys. And it has the curved TV! Oh my god, we got the freaking curved TV. I want this in my real life, but it is extremely expensive. So, uh, this couch is so adorable and so cute. And this is actually a lamp, if I'm not mistaken. The tab table has a lamp on it. And that is really, really funny, guys. And we got a lot of decorations that I'm going to showcase soon. I'm just going to show you the pre-made rooms just so you guys can see. Then we have the bubbling lounge. Um, basically, it has an argilla right here and two nargillas and the little lighting table and stuff like that really interesting it seems like it's for the outside for the terrace and it is so so cute next we have the basketball court in three different color schemes let me buy this one so this is the basketball court it has uh, plumbing alongside of it and it has a couple of chairs so your sims can sit down and watch so that is the basketball court next one is every little thing counts uh, this is going to unlock when you reach level 6 of the politician career in the charity organizer branch. So I cannot uh, show you guys because I cannot remember what is the... Uh, a couple of the... Uh, actually all of these... All, uh, the rest of these rooms are locked basically. So this is the first one. Uh, every little thing count. This is the second one, Street Performer Corner. This is going to unlock for you guys uh, after you reach level 10 of the critic career with the art arts critic branch the uh, third room is the squared office that is going to unlock when you reach level 7 of the politics career with the politician branch and it is a nice study it looks really really cute then is just for the aesthetics um, it's going to unlock when you reach the social media career level 6 in the uh, I cannot remember which branch a public relations branch oh my god I love it public relations <gasps> this is going to be so cool! I love it, I love it. And it looks really cute, this table is so so adorable and I like it that it is just one uh, square so I think it's going to be very useful for smaller rooms. Now we have this home studio when you reach level 7 of social media career, internet personality branch. That's definitely something like that, that I'm going to be. Uh, and uh, it has a little keyboard, or a little bit of decorations, and a table with a desktop computer. Really cute. Then we have making a difference. After you reach level 10 of the politics career in the charity branch, charity organizer branch, it is a very nice study with a globe and a really cute desk. Really, really nice, you guys. Then we have the fine outdoor eating, uh, unlocked by reach reaching level 5 of the critics career with the food critic branch. It's basically uh, two, two of these... Um, uh, what's it called? Mm, food carts with uh, two tables in front and this little light decoration. Then we have the aimed for the top uh, styled room that is going to unlock at level 10 of reaching social media career within public relations branch. And it is so cute. I love the carpet. Chalked down carpet. Really nice. And it's basically a computer with two shelves and a little bit of planting. Only the finest dining. Uh, this is the dining room. when uh, it's, And you can unlock it when you reach level 10 of the critics career within the food critics branch. And basically it's a dining room. A really, really, really nice one. And I love it. 
Then we have, yes, it's art, and you can uh, unlock this when you reach level 8 of the critic's career within the art crit arts critic branch, and basically it's the art room with two, a couple of sculpt sculptures and a seating area. Uh, second to last room is the gamer sleek when you reach level 10 of the social media internet personality branch. Uh, it is so funny. And so cute. This is my dream room, you guys. I want to have a gaming room one day. And one day I will have it. Trust me. I will have a gaming room and filming room and stuff like that. So yeah. Then we have the stately chic. Uh, when you reach level 10 of the politics career within politician branch. And this is... A mo uh, this is a room where you can practice your speeches and stuff like that. It, it, it reminds me of something that would be in the White House. I don't know. So, this is what we got with uh, from the styled rooms. Now, I'm going to go with a couple of roof, roof sculptures. I'm going to showcase everything that is in the build section, and then we will go to the buy section. So, we got these two posters. This is the first one, and this is the second one. A lot of different colors and designs. Oh my god, this is so cute. And this is also in a lot of different colors and designs. I love this one. This, is, uh, this looks like a romance festival or something like that. So I'm going to move them in the back. We will showcase uh, showcase it from this corner to the other corner. Now, from the uh, doors. We got one door, but uh, first of all, I need a wall. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put a large wall over here. And now to the doors. We have these doors. They are these simple doors, nothing special, nothing uh, expensive. And we got... Um, let me just do this real fast. I need this to be a third. Okay. So we got one uh, medium door, and one small door, the door of the dinge. Then we got uh, one uh, medium, I think. We got these ones, and we got these ones. Wow. And uh, we got the large ones as well in the same design as medium ones. Sorry. And uh, you got them in the, uh, in the same color scheme, uh, basically. So I will show you guys. So we have a, a black, a gray, a yellow, blue. And here you have different designs on the windows, basically. And this is the same color scheme as this one. So yeah, they're really interesting and I love them personally. Then for the windows, this is for the small window. It has a couple of columns. Okay, I just need to keep my finger on the leaf. Uh, you have these two columns and uh, the window comes in... Um, a large variety of colors it's really really nice for the big uh, medium sized window you got this the same as the door and for the large one you got this same as the door as well so this looks really really nice I love these windows they are going to be great for penthouses you guys now for the columns you got two different columns you got this one and you got and you got this one then for the uh, uh, for the fence, you got two, uh, four different fences. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And the fourth one. I love the, the last one, you guys. It really looks really, really good. And you get the little holder uh, for the stairs. So, that is uh, regarding the... Uh, stairs. Now, for the wa wallpapers, you, get, you, you get, uh, Two. This one that has a little border on the bottom. It looks kind of uh, dirty and I think that that was the goal. And you get this one that has a little bit of a uh, wooden area down below. Uh, then for, um, for the wallpapers, this was the paint. This is the wallpaper now. And this is just a striped, uh, striped simple wallpaper. Uh, now for uh, the bathroom tiles, you get the brick one that I really like and another brick one that looks really, really cool. Now I'm going to turn to the other side. Uh, for this, we didn't get anything. For uh, for the brick ones, we got this brick one, this brick one, and this brick one. I like brick, uh, brick walls. I don't know why, but I personally love them. In my parents' bedroom, we have one entire wall that is made out of bricks and it didn't doesn't have um, plaster on it or anything like that. It doesn't have color on it. It is just like this brick one. Then we uh, we don't have anything here and we don't have anything here. So that is regarding the walls. Now for the floors. So for the floors we got this wooden floor. 
and it is so cool. I like wooden floors. I have wooden floors in the entire uh, in the entirety of my house, and I love them. For the carpet, we got heavy uh, heavy traffic carpet, and I think that it looks a li little bit uh, dirty. And it is for the apartment that needs DLCs, in my personal opinion. For the tiles, we get uh, this one, and we got this one. And I love both of them. I love this one. I will, I will definitely use it in my builds. Uh, then uh, we got this. What is this? A li uh, linoleum. I think I mispronounced it. And it's not my favorite thing in the world. And I never usually use that. So that is regarding the wallpapers. What is this? Spandrels. Uh, is this spandrels? Yeah. Nothing in spandrels and fountains. Do we get any new additions to the fountains? Yes. We got waterfall for your wall. And uh, I think it looks really interesting. Basically, it's a waterfall. And we got this little fountain with the flowers. Look at it. This is so cute. I love it. And little little elephant. And I think that this is really, really, really adorable. So, that's everything that is in build, uh, build mode. Now, let me switch to the objects by room. Oh, my God. There's a lot of stuff, apparently, but I think that I will uh, switch to this and we will go to uh, comfort first and we will go one by one. So, for the chairs, living chairs, we got this one that is uh, seashell inspired. Oh my god, look at this. I'm going to place three of those and uh, I'm going to recolor them. So we got in the black one and maybe, oh my god, look at this, it has a little bow on it. Uh, so, a large variety of colors. Then we got the pillow fluff. And uh, this comes in a large variety of colors as well. Basically, it's an ottoman and it is so adorable. Then we have this straight up leather chair. We never got a leather chair before, so I think that this looks so cute. And I just changed the lighting. Okay, so this uh, is so, so adorable. A same amount. Of oh my god, look at this! I love the pink one! <gasps> oh my god, the pink one is going to be so good! So good! Now, to, the, uh, to this chair we got, uh, we got this chair, not a big fan of it, I don't know if I will use it, then we, uh, in a large variety of colors as well. Then we got the Nordshine single, oh my god, this is so cute, I will definitely use this one. And it comes in the same amount of colors, you guys, and look at this pink one, I'm, a, I'm, I'm obsessed with pink one. Then we got the Fractured Whale Chair, and this chair comes in um, multicolored ones, so basically you have a um, yellow and black one and the col uh, special color scheme. And you get this trash or treasure chair when if you purchase it, purchase it on the flea market. So, that is for the chairs. Now for the dining chairs, we got this one, the folding chair, we got this one, uh, we got this one. Uh, this wooden one that I'm not a fan of, and this leather one. Same, uh, they come in the same uh, a variety of colors. So you have the pink one, uh, you have a lot of yellow, for example, yellow one. You get this one in this color scheme, and oh my god, look at this, you guys. They're so cute. I actually like them, and we have this one that is treasure treasure that you can buy at the flea market. Now to the sofas. We got three sofas. The first one is the diving sit of Oblonger. I think that this is something for the outside. Or maybe for... Uh, let me see. Or maybe for the... What's it called? Basketball court? Then we got this sofa, the leather one, and the tra treasure treasure that you can get at the flea market. So I'm just going to recolor it to the pink. Oh my god, this is so cute. Then we got the love seats. This is the first one. It is so cute and it's colorful and has a theme on it. Oh my god, so adorable. Then we got the private veil. We got this sofa that you can actually that uh, looks like this. Okay, this is from the from the same set, you guys. And the leather one. Oh my god, so so cute. And for the miscellaneous, we got this uh, gorgy ottoman uh, that has books underneath it or not not books. Uh, it seems like it's records or something like that, but I will call it books. And this looks so, so cute, you guys. I love it. Then, for the surfaces. For the tables, we got this table with a hole. We got this uh, lopsided table. We got this one with the little corner thingy. Then we got the abstract coffee table. Coffee. Coffee table that you can uh, light something on it. I'm not completely sure what. And we got this one. That is very, very weirdly shaped. 
as I said, a large variety of colors as well. For the dining tables, we got three, though, three of those. We got this one. It's a little, little small one with a glass uh, surface. This one with the uh, little four leggies and a um, beautiful, beautiful top. And this one that is definitely my favorite one with the glass middle. I love this type of table. Now for the end tables for the uh, for the room, we got the Roden V uh, that I'm personally not a fan of because it's too big in my opinion. Then we got this one uh, that looks something that my grandma has in, in her own house. This is um, an antique. I will call it antique because it's from 60s and uh, everything from 60s is, is antique for me i hope i didn't offend anybody uh, but yeah i like this table and uh we got this one with suitcases and this one with glass on it and it looks really really cool let me see if we can yeah we can recolor the suitcases and we can uh recolor this one as well and there's a large variety of colors for uh, the little one i think that the uh, little tv w sh should look really good with this one then we got the display um display shelf uh, just one variety nothing uh, special and I think that this is going to be three three places so you can place three objects on it uh, for the uh, computer tables you got you get this uh, little one block one and uh, the um, glass table one that I will definitely use in my build for sure then for the what is this oh nice for the um, cabinets for the kitchen you get this one that looks a little bit rustic and destroyed you get it in a couple of different different color schemes so we have the pink one the pure black one and maybe this white one it looks really really nice I like it and uh, I showcased it don't bother me and we got the new patio mosaic ta mosaic table that I'm just going to place here it looks really cute it has uh, different color schemes schemes and it looks like somebody painted on it basically really really nice you guys then for plumbing let's go with toilets we got two new uh, talking toilets this is the first talking toilet it is the lower end one and we got the second one that is higher end and we got the toilet that you're going to get when uh you get uh, level 10 of the critics career for the showers we get one a new shower really nice really cute and for the bathtubs you get one new bathtub that can actually be in a large variety of colors and my favorite one should be with is should be not should be is uh, the one with the green insides i love it then for the activities and skills the first activities and skills we got the new chess table a really really nice asian inspired then we get uh what is this a diy floor mural so basically you put this and you can paint the mural inside it so i'm going to delete it because we're not definitely going to do this right now and we get the wall mural that is um that i cannot place anything right and anywhere right now but it's pretty big and you can paint the mural on the wall then we get the center stage performance space. So this is uh, the performance space for the performer on in the outside. What is this? This is the roll-up garage mural. So basically, you can paint a mural on the garage doors. And we got three of the uh, two of those. Then we got the uh, low-key karaoke machine. Then we got the Digirad keyboard. Whoopsie. Then we got the amplifier karaoke machine. This is the better uh, better karaoke machine and through. Through performance, performance space when you reach level 7 of the critics, critics career while in arts critic branch. So that is for that. For the activities, uh, recreation, you get the flea market bubble bottle that I'm going to place right here. And you get the gaming console. Oh my god, look at this gaming console. So we got two, two new gaming consoles, the, this one and this one. Uh, also we got two Nargillas. Or bubble machines. I call, I'll call them Nargillas, but uh, I don't know how to call them properly. So this bubble machine with the seating on and this bubble machine, they are all beautiful. I love them. For the, um, what's, it, what's this called? Active, you get the basketball court key. You get the basketball uh, basket. Yeah. Uh, the um, on the wall one that I don't have anywhere to place right now. And this one that has uh, drawings alongside of it, basically. So this is the solo one, and this is for the group. Let's let's call it a group. 
And for miscellaneous, we got a couple of things. We got come and get it street store. Uh, we got the street street gallery, so you can place your arts here. The podium, uh, actually two podiums. And we got the uh, food stalls. So this is the Japanese one. Then we have the tea, uh, no, American food one. Uh, then we got the tea and hot drinks one. Uh, Mexican food. Oh, what's this? Filip Filipino food. Chinese food. Wow, I'm really, ex really excited about this. Indian food. Vietnamese food. I never tried Vietnamese food. Okay, let's place it here. Uh, Moroccan, Moroccan food. I'm mispronouncing. Uptown food stall. Uh, Uptown Japanese. Uptown cupcake. Wow, cupcake! Nice! And Uptown Gourmet Food. Nice. And these two gaming consoles that you already saw. Now, to the decorations. For, for the plants, you you get this one. That is so cute. It reminds me of the plant that I have in my house. You have this one that is a little bit lopsided. Uh, you get this one. You get this... Wow, look at that flower! So cute. And we got Life of a Lily. And in its all glory. For the paintings, I need another wall, you guys. So I'm going to put the wall right here. And we are going to this, to showcase paintings. Whoopsie, wrong, wrong thingy. Okay, paintings. So, uh, we got this one. We got this one. We got this one. A lot of posters, as, as much as I can see. I will try to put them all. If I forget something, I'm sorry. So we got this little painting that looks like graphic art. And uh, you, oh my god, there's so many things. So many things. Well, I'm in love with this stuff pack, you guys. And stuff pack, expansion pack. What is wrong with me today? I'm in love with this expansion pack. Look at this. These little banners. Let me place uh, some other ones, okay? So, there is probably a different color scheme for every everything, but I'm not... Re oh, this painting is so cute! But I'm not recoloring them right now. And I love the graphic ones. Oh my god, so adorable. Wow! This is a pretty large one. This is a pretty large one, so you cannot place anything. Uh, I don't know where you can place those, but they are pretty large, you guys. And you have the special ones that you can unlock uh, with the special careers. So, that's for that. For the mirrors, we got two, one, two mirrors. We got this one, and we got this one. For the curtains, we got three different uh, curtains in three different sizes, basically. And uh, you can recolor them. There's a bunch of different colors. This is so adorable. For the sculptures, we got a couple of sculptures as well. We got this one that is a llama one, I think. We got this one, this one. And uh, these Lampion ones, one with the light, one without the light, and uh, this is the Chinese one. Uh, these are so adorable. I find them really, really cute. And I will place this one here. Then we got this little sculpture, we got this big sculpture, wow. And these three things you can unlock when you reach certain level of career. Now, to this one, we got the Dirty Laundry, and we got the Never Forget Book. Nice. And these three you can unlock when you reach certain level of your careers. For the rugs, we have this rug. We have this one that is... I have absolutely no idea what that is. Yummy Synthetic Food Rug. Interesting. Then we got this one with the rose petals, Warming Element. Not my favorite one. Then we have this one. We have that one, we have this multicolored one that is going to be amazing. We got this one, oh my god, look at this one! <gasps> so adorable! And this one, also a large variety of colors, I'm not showing you all the colors because we, will, we, we would have to stay the entire day here if I decide to show you all the colors. We got a new fireplace that I have absolutely no idea where am I going to put because it, oh, it can stay here. So this is the fireplace that we got. It looks really, really good. And let me turn to the other side of the wall so I can try to place some of these decorations. So we got this, and I'm going to actually... Oh, I don't have... Can't inter intersect with other objects. Okay. Then we have the plumbing. 
that it's very useful for rustic apartments. Uh, I cannot play. Oh, I can play this here. And let me just delete this little uh, uh, curtain. Okay, we got this. And wow, this is so cute. So a couple of these uh, stands, uh, signs for the wall. Then we got this sign. It reminds me of something for Chinese food. Then we got this one that I have nowhere to place. Okay, the, the tea shop. Nice. Uh, these are the garage doors that have a mural on it. Community canvas. Then we have the floor something. What's it called? The flavor seal. The she checkered sign uh, that also goes on the side of the wall. But I cannot place anywhere right now because I don't have any more space. Then we get uh, this little poster. This little canvas that also goes on the side of the wall. Basically everything that there uh, that is here, it goes on the side of the wall. Okay, so this little uh, plumbing addition as well. And this little uh, abstract canvas that goes alongside of the wall that I don't have anywhere to place. And for the miscellaneous, we got a lot of things. You bas basically have a basketball hoop, um, uh, tubs of color. Uh, a little keyboard or whatever, short slate um, dividers or whatever. This is the banner that hangs from the ceiling, so I'm not going. I cannot showcase those because I don't have a ceiling. Then we have the money eater, the neighborhood sign, some kind, the treasure untold uh, stacked book, uh, not books, but um, crates. And we have this little plenty thingy, then we have this room divider, uh, this sign, uh, this divider, and a lot of these uh, little monument type of things that I'm not going to showcase everything. This is a bus stop and three things that you can unlock when you reach certain level of the career. For the lighting, we got a couple of, whoopsie, we got th these four, uh, four lamps, five lamps, this one. This one, oh my god, this one, and this one. For a little bit larger lamps, we got this one. We got this that is so adorable. The lantern. Uh, the I have something similar in my living room. And uh, the huge thing that is actually a light now. We have a sculpture and a light. For the uh, outside lights, you get this one. This one with the sign. And this one that looks like a Chinese thingy, a uh, Chinese lampian thingy. And for uh, the wall ones, you get these four ones that I cannot place anything anywhere because I don't have enough space. So basically they are these. And for the chandeliers, you get this one uh, that we already saw in one of the rooms. And this one that looks really, really cool. Uh, it is the kettlebell light. Nice. Uh, for the electronics, you get the uh, curved TV that I already show you guys. We got one computer with the curved screen. We got four, yeah, uh, no, two new speakers and two karaoke machines that I already showed you. And uh, that is for the electronics. For the appliances, uh, we get one new uh, new stove. Uh, one new fridge that looks rustic and one refused to abuse trash can. And for the storage we got two, three new bouquets. This one, this one that goes on the wall somewhere and this one. Really interesting. And we got two new armoires. Oh my god, look at that. This is so adorable. And I don't know what I missed with the surfaces but it just doesn't show. Probably something that I got from other stuff packs and I did not show you guys. So, we got a lot of stuff. Look at this, you guys. We got a lot of stuff and I personally like everything that we got. I see myself using everything that we got. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, I That would really mean a lot to me. And I really hope that you're, go you're going to enjoy this expansion pack. Uh, stay tuned on this channel because uh, my new Let's Play is starting in a few minutes, you guys. It's going up in maybe 10 or 15 minutes after you watch this video. And I will put up two parts of the new expand of the new Let's Play for the expansion. I'm so excited and so pumped up about it, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. As I said, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!